today. She joins us live from Boston Spa with the very latest. Lindsay. Trishna, it was here on Saratoga Avenue, just outside of Daniel Satry's home. You can see behind me here where police say they tried to arrest him for being disorderly. They say he was tased and then handcuffed and then became unresponsive. Now, I spoke with his daughter today outside of the police department, and she tells me that he was a very kind and loving father. She's very shocked and very upset right now and said that he's never had any issues to her knowledge with the law before. It's... I want to call him. I just want to call him. Amanda Conan, still in shock, trying to cope with the death of her father, 43-year-old Daniel Satry. According to Boston Spa Police, just after 10 last night, officers responded here near his home at 130 Saratoga Ave. According to police, he was walking around in the street and screaming. Police say officers attempted to arrest him, but he became combative. They called for backup from state police and Saratoga County sheriffs. Next door neighbor George Goss says he witnessed the incident. Got up and just started like coming like to box the like box the cops like he wanted to fight them. I that and then that it's all I saw. Then I see them wrestling over to the ground over on uh, by our driveway. It was pretty intense. Like it was scary. Police say Satry was tasered before being taken into custody, and a short time later, they say he was handcuffed and then became unresponsive. Satry was pronounced dead at around midnight at Saratoga Hospital. His daughter says she has more questions about what exactly happened. A Boston spa officer I spoke with today told me those questions would be answered after an autopsy is performed. He was Just, my dad. I mean, he was a good, good guy. The last time I saw him, and he was cuddling with his cat, and he said, I love you, and that was the last thing I heard from him, so <laughs> that was the person he was, you know? That's how I want to... Police say that uh, several officers were injured during this incident. I did ask what the man's injuries were. They said at this time um, they could not comment on that, but they said there will be an autopsy set to be performed sometime tomorrow. Live in Boston Spa, Lindsay Nielsen, News 10 ABC.